What is going on, everybody? It is EB here, bringing you guys another H1Z1 video. I hope you guys are having a great day. As you guys can tell by the title today, we are going to be talking about how to make H1Z1, the game itself, just look better in terms of color and everything. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions about this on my live stream, so that's one of the main reasons why I'm doing this video. I've seen it in Stormin's live stream as well, people asking him how he gets his game to look how it does. Uh, so first of all, I am going to turn off this filters I have on OBS. Show you guys what it looks like without any filter. And I will, I will show you guys how I do it. So, uh, alright, so this is what the game looks like without any filters, anything at all. It looks so bland, so dull, dark looking, it's just, graphic wise, it's just, a, it's just a blah game, okay? It's not, it's not very good. So, hopefully I don't die while I'm showing you this stuff. Uh, cause I, I don't have mine set up the right way with like my screens and everything. So this first, the first tip you guys is if you use NVIDIA graphics cards, look at me, okay? NVIDIA graphics cards. This is for you. Like, this is what this video is about. It's for you, okay? Um, so I'm gonna switch over to... You're gonna see nothing here for a second. We're gonna have to go to this screen. Okay. NVIDIA graphics card users. Okay, so what you wanna do, this is the first step. Right click and go to your NVIDIA control panel. Okay. I'm gonna bring up this screen here, okay? Um... What you want to actually, I'm gonna do this. On, bear with me for a quick second here. Move my OBS onto this screen. You guys can actually see what I'm talking about here. So you want to go to the section that says Adjust Desktop Color Settings. Okay. Scroll down here. You see Digital Vibrance. Default is set at 50%. Now, when I scroll this back and forth, you guys are going to be able to see the colors changing and whatnot. Now, this setting is for you personally. Like, you looking at your monitor, you need to change the color of the settings this way. I personally put mine at anywhere between 65 and 80%, just because any higher kind of hurts my eyes. It's all up to you of what you want it to look like. So, um... I'm going to put mine at uh, 75% and then I'm going to click apply. Okay. Going to applying settings. I think it's still applying. Okay, so those just applied. So now you can tell a difference in like all of this. Um, how these settings that because uh, if I didn't have the OBS on this screen, you wouldn't be able to see what I'm talking about. So that is this setting. Alright, sorry about that guys. I had to figure out a way how I can show you guys this the correct way. You're not going to be able to see the effects of this as I'm scrolling uh, these settings back and forth. But I will show you what this does. So now my H1Z1 settings. When I'm streaming and you guys can see, or on Stormin's stream for example, how much more vibrant his colors are. Uh, he has filters on his stream in OBS. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first part I showed you was how just yourself can get better visual of the game. But if you also want to broadcast those settings, you have to do it within OBS. So right here, this is my source for oh, H1Z1. If I right click and I go to properties, you guys can see here. I'll drag. This is going to be a little weird video, I guess. You can see I have two filters here. I have sharpen and I have color correction. Um... When I, when I unlock these or make them visible, you will be able to see how it looks for H1Z1 uh, after I unclick. So I do have a Sharpen as one. Sharpen, I have mine at about 0 0.9, 0 0.1, or to 0.1. Yeah, 0.9 or 0.1 is what I usually go with. And then you also want to add a color correction. Just to add these guys, you just hit the plus symbol in the right here. And then I just added a color correction. You guys want to use my settings go right ahead gamma i have at 0.5 contrast 0.1 brightness i have at zero the key one right here you guys is um saturation saturation is the one that makes the colors basically pop out and how it makes them look so vibrant compared to others i recommend anywhere between 
six in about 0.8. Other than that, like I said before, that's when it starts to really hurt my eyeballs. So I'm going to put mine at point, uh, seven five. Okay, I'm going to close. So those are saved. I'm just going to drag myself over here. That and now I'm going to open up H1Z1 and hopefully I'm still alive and you can see the difference in all the colors after those settings. I have to switch to this one though. There we go. So, Alright, now, now you guys can see the different colors, the different settings. What those setting changes I just did will help for your game. If you want to make them even more vibrant, by all means go for it. Just like I said, any higher really hurts my eyes. You can see all the colors and everything a lot better. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope it was easy to follow. I know it probably wasn't the best formatted, but it's basically the only way I could really do it. If you guys enjoyed the video and thought it was helpful, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more uh, information in H1Z1 type videos. Leave a comment down below of something in the other settings world streaming wise need help with. Leave them down below. I'll try and answer them. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next.